Okay, we're gonna strip a Sony big screen. We got two of them. They work perfectly, but like I say, can't get rid of them. It's a shame. Can't sell them. Can't any place can give them away, but let's uh, take this thing here. Start with the cord. I'm just gonna figure what kind of screw it is. Need a container for uh, screws. Probably use this here. This TV is about six thousand dollars. It came out. It's actually pretty heavy and pretty expensive. It weighs about uh, 300 pounds, I would say. Pretty heavy. Basically, just a couple TV tubes and a bunch of reflectors and a magnifying glass. That's your mirror. This is just the mirror there. Actually comes right out. Okay. So you can see the big lots of dead space. Some of this cabin I might have to smash apart to get to the to the bottom kind of thing. Let's take the rest of the screws off so stand by. Okay, so really uh it's pretty simple to strip. It's mostly uh lots of dead wheat. Like a module here. simple so this is the bottom piece Use a plug in board so it should, should come out. There's your IC chips right there. This is actually not, not bad. This smart this was HD. So old it was actually newer than this the one there. Nice chips there. This good copper foil.
flying bug right there. Stink bomb. Stink bug. There it is. These things have to come off here. They're just for interference. To get the proper money, you have to cut these off. I don't think this would be that good to be honest. Better than uh, the other one. More IC chips here. Green board here. So I'm gonna take take apart. And let me just show you the other one here. This was an older TV. Same type of big screen, but a little bit older. This one didn't have really anything. Got different IC chips, see the really long ones? Different technology, right? One Joe smashed apart. This is copper inside of plastic. It's a shield. It's definitely copper. Smells weird. It's actually a pretty thick plate. Copper 
cheat. Free copper. You gotta take it, right? Okay. The crapola. Wire here. So it's just a big shell now, basically. There'll be some speakers in front to take out. You're begging out. It's a good good amount of wire. Here's another board here. here This lens off here. How do I get it off? A little smashing.
this. So keep rolling. Oh. I see some screws here. People say lens is worth money to buy lens, but who knows? I can't see the screw here, it's weird. the lens. People actually buy those because they're actually really good for uh, you know you can melt melt the metal actually or something because it gets super hot you put it into the sun shame breaking these apart but it's like dead technology right I took speakers out. Actually, speakers are awesome speakers in there. You can tell they're really good. Look at this. Nice, nice speakers. Probably still good. Even though I re reefed on the cables, but even these probably pretty good. Judged by a speaker is when they get a huge magnet. They put big magnets on there just because. You can handle better power and stuff. Actually, they're probably pretty good speakers, I would think. Because it had a really good sound, so I listened to it. it. Sounded actually pretty nice. So I think we're pretty well stripped out. I'd say that one's stripped. This part anyways. The rest is just plastic. Put that there. I can't believe it's just tip here. It doesn't seem to want to tip. It really wants to reach. So it's like having a, a pitch tube. But each one produces a color. I think it's a red, green, and blue. Something like that. But for some reason, somehow it just mixes colors up.
like a TV. A single TV is the same concept. Well, if that never nothing in its Sound like aluminum for a second there. We was tingling the noise. Tingle noise. So we're dissect this here. Okay, so now between here, this lens is supposed to be liquid. So I'm going to put it somewhere where I can capture the liquid. I think it's like a mineral oil or something. There is no liquid in this one. It's 
stink bug right inside there. Oh, there's liquid there. It's coming. How could a stink bug be right inside there? See that? See that liquid there? It's a, you want it all over your workbench, right? I don't smell nothing. So, I need the right uh, wrench here. It's a lubrication on this thing. Picture tube, see that? That cool? Very cool. I'm gonna have to dock this lens off here. That's cast aluminum. Cast. See that? That's how it's done. Seems like I'm not going to light this off. There it is. Okay. Okay, so that was a white lens, no green. Here's your red lens. You can see I'll take some more off. There it is, see? Lens. So now we have green one, plastic. It's steel, it's too heavy. Even that's a pretty strong lens, too. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Check out the next lens here quickly.
This is refracting liquid. That's probably what it is. So it refracts light. Use it for like when you're doing with a microscope. You put a when you're looking at asbestos and stuff. You put liquid on there and it refracts, makes it refract better. It looks like, oh, it's pretty clear looking. So this one's kind of clear, so I don't know. So it's a clear one, or then maybe it makes a white. White, red, green, I'm thinking. Nice amount of cast. Okay, let me uh, sort a couple things here, and I'll show you exactly what the outcome is for that TV. Okay, okay, there's my steel right there. A little more steel here. Uh, this is my lens. People say you can sell on eBay, I don't know, but whatever, it's pretty hard to ship, I would think, but that. Three glass pitcher tubes. Um, six speakers. Look at the, co the coils of copper, see that? But these, I think, maybe they're good for something. Lenses. Three lenses. Three um, yokes. They got copper. Three different lenses here. Green, red, clear color. Here's the low-grade boards. Low-grade boards. Aluminum here. Aluminum, aluminum. Aluminum, transformer. Aluminum here. Aluminum, copper spool. Here's my uh, gold bearing boards. Got three IC chips there. Nothing there. Aluminum heat sink, aluminum heat sink. Two ICs there, one in the back. These are your better IC chips for sure. More IC chips, probably the RAM, I would think. If it was a smart TV, I'm not sure. More here too. And there was um, lots of screws. Oh, these are stainless steel too. Stainless steel off the uh, pitch tube clamps, green board, some more flat chips here. So I think these ice icy chips are good. So I got some some decent boards. It's just like a low grade green. So that's it for that strip out. Um, I don't know, I think it would probably be better, well it depends how much yield is here in gold, we don't know, right, I mean, no one really knows unless you look, you need volumes and volumes, right, but, I mean, to take it to recycled center, they'll take it free, right, now I can deal with ply plywood and particle board and extra weight, how heavy is this going to be? I would say it's probably... 150 pounds of lumber here. Lumber, plastic, or think. So this is all stripped. Oh, it's actually a piece of metal here I can take out. You know, if I'm paying for disposal, I don't want any metal there. Which is pointless, right? You want to strip it 100%. ground on there that's a complete breakdown if you get a TV like this if you can dump the stuff in a dumpster right it's not it's, it's it's okay right but if you have to pay for disposal well, well it depends where you are right if it's cheap it's cheap but our disposal is probably about I'd say with taxable 10 cents a pound so it could cost me $15 to dump is there $15 of, of gold and copper? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's $20. Well, there's also wire too, which you don't, we don't see. All this, this real thin wire. All this stuff was in there, so uh, it's at least a three or four, three pounds of wire probably. It's pretty heavy. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna pull this back off just to see if the, the TV is the same. So stand by. I'll show this cast here. So 10 pounds of cast. So the, the numbers get better. Forgot to show you that. Yeah, it's pretty heavy cast. So I would say, you know, makes a fine strip down. Okay. Same speakers, same modules, exact same. It was a replica, this TV was identical. It was the same manufacturer, same year. The date of the mirror here, it's actually precise here. Uh, uh, day 11, 12 month, 2000, at 2.39 in the evening or afternoon. So 11, 12, zero. So 2000, you know. So that's it. That's the strip out. All done. Same amount of gear, same amount of junk. Same kind of wire. Pretty good wire, actually, not too bad. You start adding the wire up, it adds up quite a bit. Okay, I think that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Two big screens. That's what, if you see one, and you know, if you're at a side of the road somewhere, it only takes you 10 minutes to pull the board out. Very quick, actually, to be honest. Once you take the first screws out here, in the back, you have access to take this out. It's about six screws, six or eight screws. And here there's only, there's one on the sliding board and there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but there's about a dozen screws to pull, maybe 15 screws total and it all comes out. And then you have your screws, your speakers if you want. Okay, that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.